down. It's like 8.30 on a Sunday morning. I didn't realize they delivered on Sundays. Anyway, I recently purchased a new nappy bag. Um, basically, I've got this one. So this is like one from Baby Bunting. It's the JJ Cole brand. Um, I might put it up here if you're interested. It's been great. Like, I do love it. Um, it's very, like, solid. Like, you see the bottom? Like, you can't you can't compact it and i feel like it's not it's really not that big like it kind of does look big and bulky but it doesn't fit much in there like some days if i'm going out somewhere for a while and i need like food drinks um hats and everything for lincoln and like toys or whatever i feel like i'm struggling to shove everything in here so obviously we're having another baby i'm going to have two under two so I needed something bigger <laughs> that was gonna fit like stuff for two babies in it. Um, so I ordered a bag from Milk and Poppy. Um, I'm sure you've seen these bags. Like it's literally, it's kind of funny. It's literally like the same as this. Um, my, one of my best friends actually has this bag. Um, and I was like, I'm gonna get the same bag as you. Um, because I've seen it like compared to mine it's just it compacts compacts easier in the pram um, and just like in the car like and it's actually way way bigger inside um, so it went on sale for like 30 something percent off and I bought it oh that's so cute it has a little little bag good because I don't think I want to use it straight away oh it's a bit of a different color actually Okay, so this is the bag. <laughs> it's just, I don't know if you can tell it. Like you can tell this one's definitely taller and it is wider. Um, and it's just like a different shape, but they're very similar looking. Oh, this feels like way nicer than this too. It's a vegan leather. Oh, I like these pockets. And it's pretty much got everything this bag has. So it's got like the insulated pockets at the front so you can keep bottles in which i love like that's a must two side pockets mine doesn't have side pockets there you go that will be good if i just want to put like i think you put wipes in this one or if i just want to put like a drink bottle or something for me um it's got this big back pocket which mine also my current one also has that but it's just it's not as deep and it's, you can't pull it out as much. So I literally just put like maybe his drink bottle and a cloth in there. This seems way more like, I don't know what the word is, movable. The inside, how cute is that? Um, and then this is the change pad. So there's that and then there's the leather side. How cute. I think it's so cute and it folds up as a little like thing oh so yeah it's definitely going to be way better like when you pull it out when you pull it out it actually is cool oh okay right so there's like a button here that you can push in I've just unclipped that that's why it's coming out more See, it's actually like very, very big and deep. Anyway, loving it. it. has a little zip on the inside, a few little compartments on the inside, on the sides, if you can see that. But yes. And then it's got the front ones in the front too for like quick access. Like maybe if you want to put your phone or something in there. Love it. So happy with that. It was basically like, I think it was cheaper than this one, to be honest. Um, and I did get this one on sale. Um, I'll pop them both up here if you're interested. Um, but yeah, going to be using that. I probably won't use it just yet, um, but in the coming months, start of next year, I will whip it out and use that. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. This is literally the first thing I've purchased, I guess, for the new baby. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Good morning. I feel like, did I say good morning in the previous clip? I have no idea. Um, it is. I'm just gonna move away because the dishwasher is going like full on and it's very loud. It is Sunday morning. It honestly doesn't feel like a Sunday to me. Like I think just because of the long weekend, um, it's really thrown me out. So it's Sunday morning. It is a bloody beautiful day outside. Like look at this sunshine. Kevy, just lapping it up. Anyway, Lincoln's still asleep. It's like 10 to nine. Basically, my plan for today is I wasn't going to vlog today, but I'm like, oh, you know what? Like, I'm going out today and I'm doing a few things. So I'm like, let's vlog today. Um, main priority, I just wrote my to-do list, is to get two presents. So I'm going to Eastland later on um, with my sister-in-law to get a present for a baby shower that we're going to on Saturday. And then it's my grandma's 80th on Thursday. So I need to get her something. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my to-do list. It's literally buy presents. I really want to buy a plan. I'm really like, I haven't bought a plan in a real long time. Like if you know me, like I feel like I've always loved plants. Like ever since maybe three years ago, I got into them. And I have probably about, I would say I have about 50 houseplants. Um, so it's not, it's not, I mean, it's still a lot, but it's not like massive. <laughs> um, so I just really want to fill my house with plants, but it's also harder now because I've got a kid and I'm pregnant. I'm going to have two kids and like, it's just, you can't have a lot of kids around, especially like ones in pots and stuff with, with kids. Um, like for this one, for example, like it's just, I've got to keep an eye on it at all times got to protect it from my child because otherwise yeah no anyway so basically this shelf is a new shelf I haven't shown you guys on here so basically like when you walk in I'm going back to our front door sorry about our front door so you walk in and this is like what you see right now it's like very sparse and it's like it's not, it's not it for me. Like I need something fuller. Like my vision for this shelf originally, okay. Originally I'm rambling now. Originally I wanted two shelves lower down, um, like under each other and just fill it with plants and have it like as a plant display. Um, because also tip, if you do have kids, you can't, you can't be doing this anymore and you can't be doing those stands because they're dangerous as well like it has nearly fallen on my child you've got to you've got to go up so you see like I've got a lot of things up on benches on <laughs> tables and I've put a lot of shelves up just to you know house my plant my plant situation so yeah that's what I wanted and I was like that'll look so nice coming in like the house is so white the kitchen's white like it's very white I wanted some timber shelves and like greenery but this sliding door doesn't allow us to do that. So we're on to plan B. We've got this shelf up. I want a really, really bushy, full ivy plant. So see like this plant here, like this is an ivy. If you're not really into plants, like if you are, if, I feel like everyone knows what an ivy is. This is an ivy. Like this one's okay. It's got like a bit bushy at the top and then it's trails down, which I think it looks really cute here. But I need something fuller. And I want it to just like be heat, like heaps just full. <laughs> and drape down and sort of like fill that empty space on the wall, like underneath the shelf. And then I'll probably keep the statues. I've just moved that like dried, oh, the dried flower vase there for now. Um, and that little ivy, but I'll probably just keep the statues and put some plants up there. Maybe a little photo. What do we think? I'm going to go to the market today. So basically I used to go, I still go to, it was closer to my old house, but I still make the trip if I feel like I want to plan. Um, 
because don't go to Bunnings. Like if you want plants, don't. I made the mistake. They're so overpriced and like they're tiny at Bunnings. Like I got a fiddle leaf fig. That one in the corner there, it's seen better days. Um, when we moved here, I put it outside for like three days and it just got scorched by the sun. And that's why the leaves, like a lot of the leaves are brown. Um, and it's not as full as it was. Um, but it's fine, she's recovering. Anyway, that was full. I think I paid $65 for that. And at Bunnings, you would pay like maybe $65 for one that like is like that one there. Like literally like maybe eight leaves, 10 leaves. And yeah, it's just go to like find a plant nursery. I found one that I really love. They actually do a stall at my local market every Sunday morning. So I'm waiting for Lincoln to wake up. And then I think we're just gonna go down to the market and have a look and see if he's got a bushy one. They're so lovely at that market. Like. I went there for Mother's Day. I got mum a big fiddle leaf like that one for Mother's Day. And I got myself, oh, I think I got this plant actually for Mother's Day. That's probably the last plant. This like variegated Monstera, pretty big. I think this was $20 or something. What is it? Monstera, yeah, it's a type of Monstera. And like, it's, it's going wild. It's got so many new shoots. Um, Anyway, so I got those two and I was like, carrying them and he obviously like knows me because I, I go to their actual store, like their shop as well. Then he's like, oh, I came back because I had to do two trips to the car and he's like, oh, this one's for you too. And it was like another little plan. I think it was like a peace lily or something. And he was like, this one's for you too. And I was like, oh no, I only bought the two. And he was like, no, nah, like you, it's like, take it, it's, it's yours. And like, he'd already discounted the two plants for me. Um, so it ended up being like $70 for a massive fiddle, that big plant and another like medium sized plant. And I was like, oh my God, like that is so good. Like that is so, so cheap. Like, I feel like if you're not a plant person, you'll be like $70 for two plants is expensive. It's not like, it's really not. Um, so yeah, that's my tip. Go to try and find a plant nursery. Um, these guys literally, I found them in lockdown. They were do running it from their home. Like their home was amazing. They had like a back patio veranda undercover full of plants, like massive plants. Um, and they do like, they just leave it on the doorstep during lockdown and you leave the money um, and you just contact them on Facebook. And so yeah, that's what I did. So where it all started and now they've got a shop and they go to the market and like they're really expanded. So anyway, <laughs> I feel like I'm just rambling this morning. I haven't even had a coffee and I just feel like I'm blah, blah, blah. <sighs> I just I'm in a really good mood. I don't know why. I just feel good. I think it's the relief now of like people knowing that I'm pregnant. Um yeah, it's kind of like, I just feel like I can be myself. And if I feel down, I will pick up the camera and kind of talk you through that. Because like, obviously in the first trimester, like it's all a bit kind of, you're meant to wait and like, not like in case you miscarry and blah, blah, blah. And obviously having a miscarriage before, I was a bit more cautious this time around. Um, Cause we did miscarry in March, but yeah, I'm like, it's a bit of a relief now. Like I've just, when I'm, I'm having bad days and I'm struggling, like I can tell you why and I can, you know. Anyway, so yeah, that's my plan for today. Um, I'm like, oh, do I wake him up now? I'm like, Alexa, stop. I think I should go wake Lincoln up just so we can get out. All right, <laughs> see you in a little.
So we just got home from the market. I ended up buying this, uh, it's called a cardboard plant. It's actually a really, really, like it literally feels like cardboard. Um, it's a really, really cool plant. And I think it actually looks really good there. So I did get a couple of things, like I literally, like it was so busy. The market, like I've never seen it that busy. I guess long weekend, it's like a really, really nice day. Um, so I just went, they had like a bakery, a bakery, yeah, sure. Um, I got this massive multi-grain sourdough. This is delicious. Um, I had, when I was there, I had got an apron Danish from the same place and had that. And then I got this almond croissant. How good does that look? Yum. Um, and that's it. And I spoke to the guy. He was like, he didn't have any ivies at all. Um, devil's ivies. He's like, oh, they're not really like in season at the moment. He's like, wait a couple of months and I'll have some big ones. So that was a bit disappointing, but hello. So the shelf's just gonna have to stay bare for now. Um, but I am really happy I got that front plant because I've been like just it's been empty for so long um, And I just haven't known what to put there um, And he was really helpful. So yeah, I'm gonna put their thing up here. So it's called WY plants um, They're in Tacoma. So um, In like the Danny Nong ranges. Um, that's where I used to live. So if you're in that area um definitely check them out they've got a warehouse in Tacoma and it's really they're really affordable plants and they're really really good quality plants as well hello say hello say hello <laughs> can you wave can you wave can you wave to the camera can you wave you can push it off no 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 careful what what? What are you doing? You love this, don't you? This is probably his most played with toy. I mean, he uses his walkers right here. He uses it as a walker. Um, but this thing, like, honestly, he got that for Christmas when he was five months old. Um, that is, like, honestly, the most played with toy in this house. And probably... <laughs> His little Audi cashier register. He loves that. He got that for his birthday. But this, how good is it? Do you love it? Do you love it? Do you love it? What are you doing? <gasps> what is it, Lincoln? Lincoln, son? Moon, moon, sun, sun, that's a star, sun, star, star, hello, oh darling, I love you, I love you. <laughs> He's obsessed with this jumper. Like literally every time I wear it, he just comes up to me and points to all the things. <coughs> Camera. <gasps> Camera. It's your thing at the moment, isn't it? And just pointing at everything. We go out to the shop, pointing at everything. You're always pointing. Mwah. Pointing. Kevy. Say Kevy? Yeah. Say K K Kevy? Oh. Say Kevy? Say Kevy? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get your toys out now. Hi Kevy. Hi Kevy. What are you doing? He has been so cuddly too lately. I don't know what's going on. It's like they sense 
Like he, Kevin definitely knows. He used to sniff my stomach when I was pregnant with, and like prod my stomach when I was pregnant with him. Um, but yeah, it is such a nice day. I got a coffee on the way home. I don't know what it is about Macca's ice lattes, but they really hit the spot. I also haven't been really eating as much as I have, like that I did previously with him. Like this pregnancy, it has been a little bit different. Um, and I feel like I will touch on that in a different video, but just briefly, <laughs> Lincoln's just looking at me. What are you doing? Um, just briefly, I haven't been that hungry and I like nothing is appealing to me. I feel like with Lincoln, I was like constantly hungry and I was like, give me all the food, give me all the fatty food. Like I ate like crap. This time I'm like, I wake up, I really put off eating. Um, some days, like I haven't been having coffee every day. It's kind of just like when I feel like it, some days I'll go three days without having a coffee. Um, and then, yeah, I wake up and I'm like, oh, I don't really feel hungry. I don't really feel like eating, but like I have to because otherwise I'll feel sick. Um, so I kind of just eat something small and then I probably won't eat until the afternoon. And that's kind of like what I've been doing. Um, so yeah, I'm not complaining about it. Like it is good. It's good for my weight, definitely. Um, that I'm not hungry, hungry and overeating. So we're about to leave, like literally we're leaving in an hour to go to Eastland. Um, I just wanted to kind of come home and let him run around and stretch his legs and stuff because then he's going to be in the car in the pram again. But it's sort of like an awkward, it's an awkward thing. Cause it's like when he wakes up late, he woke up at 9.30. He normally does three, three and a half hour awake windows. So that means he'll be due at his nap for his nap at one when we're meant to get there. Um, and he doesn't really nap well in the pram anymore. So I'm like, oh, I could try and put him down now, but like just based on how he is, I just think he would cry and refuse the nap because it's only been two hours. So I think I'm just gonna wing it. Um, potentially if he's tired at 12.30 when we leave, he might sleep in the car. Um, otherwise, I just hope he can push through and nap on the way home. I'm also, so Eastland, they've recently moved baby bunting into the shopping center. Um, and I've been meaning to go there. I feel like I've really, I haven't like bought anything for the baby. I literally bought that nappy bag and that's it. Um, so I need to start looking at double prams because... I'm having kids 20 months apart. Like I need, I need a double pram. And like, if you know me, if you follow my Instagram, you know, I'm pretty much like, if the weather's good, I'm on walks every day. Um, that's my thing. It keeps me sane. Um, especially since becoming a mum, it's been way more important for me to just get outside every day and move my body. Um, and just walking is so easy when you've got kids cause you just chuck them in the pram. And you just go and Linky loves it. Like he could sit in the pram for hours. Um, so I'm definitely going to be wanting to do a lot of walks when this other, when this new baby comes. Um, so I need to get a double pram. <laughs> oh my God. Have another baby. The second baby's cheap, they said. Oh my God, they're so... Are you playing with Kevy? Um... Yeah, I was like, it's fine. We've got most of the stuff, right? Like, we don't need to buy that much, like, that many things. Here's me. I need to buy a new cot. I need to buy a new chest of drawers for Linky's new room. I need to buy a new pram. I'll probably need to buy a new baby monitor. Um, I'll need to buy a new car seat. And I also want to get a capsule this time. So I'll need, like, a capsule and then a new car seat for Linky. Yeah. For you. Um, what else? I don't know. There's just like all of that adds up. I'm going to use a doula this time for my birth. Um, hopefully so like that's money. And it's just, I was like, that. it's just not, it's not, it's still expensive. I'm going to say goodbye to everyone. Say bye. Can you wave for me? Lincoln, can you wave for mama? Wave, wave for mama.
<laughs> all right guys i'm going to leave this vlog here um if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up it really supports my channel um and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye <laughs> They're in love now, and I wanted you to know